Hey kitties! So today I am going to be doing a how to start a journal video. I've been getting so many questions asking me to do journaling videos and that is what I'm doing today. The very first one that I'm going to do today is how to start a journal. So step one is selecting your journal. So I selected this one for my next journal I'm going to start. It is completely blank. I got this at Claire's. This one does not have ruled sheets. It's just kind of like blank. You could definitely go ahead and get ruled sheets if that's something that you want. Where do you get the journals? What do you use? What can I use? There are so many different kind of journals that you guys can use. For instance, I just picked up this one yesterday at Dollarama for $1.25 and this one is ruled or lined. I, I prefer the lined ones, but I just really like this one and wanting to try just like a plain one. But you can pick up a journal or a notebook anywhere. You can go to Michael's or any sort of craft store. You could go to Walmart, Target, literally even the corner store down the road might sell you journals. Drug stores. I do however love going to Dollarama and finding journals. I thought this was adorable um, and it's really cheap like a dollar. Well usually they're a dollar. If you get like a fancier one it might be a dollar twenty-five but I mean that's so cheap. So definitely hit up your local dollar store, Dollarama, Dollar Tree, anything like that because you may get a steal of a deal. Now really let's just stop right here and say that is all you really need to start a journal is a journal and a pen or a pencil whatever you prefer. This is all you really need to start a journal. You do not need to go and spend all this money and all this time to get your ideas or thoughts out. I love journaling. I always have. I started out with just a notebook and a pencil or pen. I prefer pen. <laughs> and write down whatever you want in here. I will be doing more videos and like ideas of what to put in your journals, but literally I put anything in my journals. I'll put my dreams, what I ate today, my thoughts, a poem that comes in my head, a story that came in my head, um, just all these like, different types of things. So really this is all you need. You do not need to spend money. People are like, oh, I can't afford journaling. It's so expensive. If you do go right into it and buy like the stickers and tape and all this, yes, it can get pricey, but really this is all you need, you guys. For those of my cuties out there who like to take it a step further, like I do and like to go all out and kind of make their journals cute and like every page is like colorful, then let's go. You definitely don't have to get a journal. You could get a binder or some sort of like notepad if you want to do it on there. I just love like notebooks like this. When I fill it up, it's sort of like that's a memory in its own and I can just put it away and store it away. So these are the supplies that I definitely would recommend if you are starting a journal. So a clipboard, not so much the writing of the journal because of course you just write in the journal, but if you are like making sort of like a collage or drawing a picture to put, put in your journal. I like to draw my pictures out first and then put them in my journal. I really recommend a clipboard. This is from Dollarama, $1. Some sort of folder. Again from Dollarama, this was one dollar. This is huge and mesh and you can bend it to fit in things. But what I use this for, and this is like my holy grail, <laughs> all of my memories that I'm wanting to put in my journal. So for instance, why can't I open this? Nails.com. My boyfriend and I recently went to Jerry D. He's a comedian and we had tickets like this and we saw him live. So I'm obviously gonna journal about it in my journal. So I just save these and then we'll paste them in my journal and be like, yay, like date night or whatever we saw comedy show or something because in like 10 years from now will you remember you went to a comedy show maybe probably movie ticket I don't have any right now but sometimes when we go out for supper um, I'll take like a cardboard coaster or a napkin that says you know swish away on it or something like that I don't know just for like memories like that to be like oh we went out for supper on August 14th 2099 like we did that <laughs> depending when you are watching this hey in 2099 <laughs> pens or something to write with I prefer color a glue stick or and or tape I lean more towards tape but if I'm doing like a collage then I will do glue scissors pencil crayons pencil sharpener eraser and maybe some cute stickers if that's your thing so those are like my go-to for journaling supplies now I'm gonna show you guys my journaling setup so this is what I store all my journaling supplies in like so I got this at Michaels so what I have in here is my pencil case for my pens so I should basically call it a pen case I got this at Michaels as well and this is like packed with pens I love pens if you followed me for a while you know that I love my pens like I love colors there's like gel pens in here I have the recollections pen markers almost like I have a bunch of the recollections in here is what I love I just feel like it adds a lot of color I also just do have simple 
pens in here, Bic pens. But really, you can find pens anywhere. You can go to Michael's and find journaling or professional pens or pencils, markers. You can use Sharpies. You can honestly go to Dollarama and also find very cheap, like a whole pack of pens for like $1. It just depends where you go. Uh, pens are an essential, obviously, with journaling. Oh, I'll just show you guys. This is what it looks like when I have this here. Um, the next thing that I have is this little pencil case. And in here is a bunch of stickers. I have way too many stickers. Like, honestly, I can't even look through these. Um, but yeah, I have so many stickers. You guys send me so many. And I have tape, like I just showed you. Glue stick. I just took these out of the packaging. Um, then I have scissors like this. This is what it looks like. Like I have all my supplies here. And then on this side, I have a bunch of pencil crayons. So they're just Crayola. I actually love Crayola. And then in here I have just like a pencil uh, like that. If I want to write with a pencil, I have a professional pencil in here. An eraser, more tape. This one's actually almost done. That's why I got the new one. Pencil sharpener I just showed you guys. And then I have some glitter tape because it's cute. <laughs> and then they have these little tapey guys like this. They have different little designs on them. There's like polka dots here and skulls. Nina gave these to me. These are so amazing and I love them. They're just so mini and they just stick right in there. There are also different storage things that you guys can store your scrapbook things in. If you want to go the route of having stickers and pencils and sharpeners and all this, then yeah, there's lots of different storage methods you can do. I love just having this. I think it's a perfect size. It slides right, right under your bed. If you have it under your bed, when I had a water bed, there was no such thing as under my bed. If it gets dirty, you can just wipe it down. There's lots of space. You could also go all out and get like a cart or like a wall mount for all your stuff depending how into it you are and yeah so that's what I have in like my journal necessities what I use my journal for I basically use it as like a journal diary scrapbook and like a memory slot. So if you do go down the scrapbook aisle at Michael's or any scrapbooking store, you will find a lot of things for your journal. Um, now I want to talk about stickers. I have to talk about stickers. So these stickers I got at Michael's. Michael's have tons of stickers. There's like legit emoji ones here. Stickers make your journal pop. Okay, but can I just say that these stickers, especially at Michael's, are a little bit expensive. These are between $2, and honestly, stickers at Michael's can run you up to like $16, depending on what you get. They have so many options. Like, I'm talking like aisles and aisles and aisles of options for stickers. Like, these I think were like $3 each around, which is expensive. So, I recommend Dollarama. This one, for instance, they're just like lettering, like that. They're uh, actually Disney Princess, and there are 12 sheets in here of lettering and they're one dollar and then there are these ones and these ones were um a dollar 25 and they're adorable and princessy and i found that stickers that are lettering like this are more expensive like i saw lettering stickers go for like 12 dollars at michael's and i'm like what so i just got 12 sheets of them for one dollar so really look around my basically general rule is if you're wanting something specific then you go to michael's like if i'm wanting like a movie night sticker then I'll go to Michael's. If I'm wanting paper, like um, this kind of paper, I got these at Michael's. These are actually on sale for 20 cents. There's Hello Kitty, tie dye, like all these different ones. I go to Michael's, like if I'm wanting something specific. But if I'm just wanting like stickers or pens or something, Dollarama. I also found these at Dollarama. They're mini tapes, kind of like what Nina sent me, but they're Lisa Frank and they're $1.25. Something like this at Michael's probably would have been like 10 to $15. And I found these in the kids section too, so just make sure you guys are hunting and searching for deals. A while back I also found these little books at Dollarama. They were $1.25 each. Oh, all my like supplies, there's, I just keep them in this big Michaels bag and I keep them downstairs in my basement. So in here I have like a bunch of like replacements of pens. Construction paper is a must. I should have put this at the starting and saying like it's a must because you can cut out little shapes and put them on there if you're wanting to write something out and paste it on there. Construction paper. I also have of just plain white drawing paper for exactly what it says drawing I have another thing of construction paper like this colorful sheets and then I have this that I showed in one of my journaling hauls there are a whole bunch of like paper pads so you can do so much with this like look 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 there's so many cute designs on here there are so many things to do with journals just get creative and then I have these that I haven't even opened because I literally have so much paper. Like, I need to, I, and I have, I have slowed down on buying paper. So I think that is all I have to talk about and how to start a journal. So basically, like I said at the beginning, all you really need is a notebook and a pen and you're good to go. But if you want to go that extra mile and really document and make it stickery and fun, you can go to Dollarama.
Emma and really save some money. And if you're wanting specific things, maybe head into a craft store. Walmart has a lot of options. There are lots of different things you can get. You can get like uh, packs of scrapbooking things which come with like stencils and stickers and I don't know like borders and stuff. So I will be doing more videos in the future. I'm going to start this journal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Okay, you try it. You try it. I was telling her to try it. So she tried it. Threw up. Threw up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Threw up. I swear. She threw up. So she